Hi guys, here I have my old Canson mixed media sketchbook. This was given to me as a gift in 2016 or so. So I've had this particular sketchbook for three years. Growing up, I never really had any true sketchbooks. Um, I used to draw on lots of scraps of paper, but my friend had actually made me a sketchbook back in 2012. That was my first real real sketchbook, I guess you could say. Yeah, the leaves were pretty thin, so it wasn't really good for exploring um, other media besides sketching. So I would count this as my first real sketchbook. It had good enough paper that I could experiment with different media, and I was really excited to fill this out. It was so good that I actually bought a second one, now that it's done, to replace, to replace it. And true to form, I got ink on it when I was testing it out. It just splattered right across the page. Funny enough, this happened in the first sketchbook. I spilled blue ink on that one. So yeah, let's dive in. So this one I did on December, I did on Christmas Day in 2016. These adorable little cuties. I'm really glad that it was like at the very beginning of my sketchbook, it was something to open and be really happy about. Here I have my box babies. And then these are sketches for a bowl that I a commission. You can see that here. This is another painting that I wanted to do, but I didn't finish. And then a watercolor doodle of a character of mine. Um, some tactic sketches and a little folk character from Caribbean lore called the Moongazer. Drawing my feelings and some mermaid sketches that I never finished. Um, this was supposed to be a meet the artist back when I had long hair. And these are some other characters that I drew. Chibi sticker, Mirai from Kyokai no Kan Kanata. Um, here I some more doodles over here, and um, some uh, a drawing of my OC Michio and his inner self. More doodles, more doodles, and then um, some little bean babies. Look at that booty. Another blank page and a scenery I didn't finish. Um, more box head babies. A concept sketch I did for a piece I had. First ever migraine aura. Um, this is a little piece that I want to do. And then over here was just a random character prompt. It gave me a little goblin. Um, this is some sketches for a kid's book commission I had. This is actually a piece that I finished, you can see here. Um, this is another sketch. This is planning for another piece I wanted to do. I still have that in mind. It's supposed to be a companion piece to this one. Um, a cute doodle inspired by pick candles. Um, more doodles. This was supposed to be a digital piece, and this was for Mermaid, actually. Um, more storybook sketches. Again, more commission work. Um, some doodles. This adorable little boy. Um, this was a little comic strip I was supposed to make. I didn't finish. Portrait practice. Um, I wanted to be, add more color into my book. These are some manga pages that I did for a friend, a uh, fan, fan comic for Kenichi. This is the traditional line art that I did and then I added the screen tones and stuff in Photoshop digitally. Um, more sketches. sketches, even more sketches of the little 
angry baby um at the ball chubby dino this was supposed to be a cat but that didn't end up happening i didn't finish it baby um another monster girl commission um another month some more monster girls and even more monster girls i actually really like this um headpiece design that i did with the plant um, another commission for caricatures more commissioned artwork for cover art another monster girl some logo ideas for more box head babies I think his face is so funny to me and here I was trying out different head shapes um, another monster girl that's her face up there more doodles inspired by pit candle and a portrait I did for someone this was the beginning of a rough sketch this one this was an interesting um, doodle I did I loved how the facial composition came out the fish blah, 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 blah. I love how the facial composition came out um, and the shading especially I usually don't get like such good detail without a reference and this one had actually worked out so I was really happy with this little doodle um, this was a draw with me sketch draw draws in your style sketch from Cassiopeia and then this one is from destiny blue um, this was a test run for this piece this was a draw with me by Saruka Tepi 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 I I can never get her name right. I'm sorry. Um, just a little doodle, and this was me trying out mixing some paint colors with my Reeves versus my Mission Goal. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but these two are the Mission Goal, and you can see that they're a lot more dull than the the swatches in between, which are Mission Goal. So I was really happy that I bought those. Um, this was some little sketches for cactuses that I did for a piece called Crown. Um, more doodles. Some doodles here, Bunny Graveyard Girl on YouTube. I love her face. She has a really interesting face. <laughs> this expression was pretty funny. Um, this was inspired by her as well. She was like, nothing to see here, just a big potato with a camera. Um, some little gesture poses. And this was around Inktober as well. So I was here drawing out little sketches for my marshmallow for Roasted. I have a little prototype sketch of his face right here. Um, I drew this one at work. Just stressed and did not want to be there. And little BB. This was a sketch, some planning I did for a train company. They wanted a little skunk mascot done. More monster girls, random doodle, me trying to plan out my Inktober prompts. Um, I got as far down as probably day six. I really wanted to do this one scorched, but I ended up not finishing Inktober this year. I ended up being too busy, but I would certainly like to go back to that idea. Um, this was some inking practice from the class on Skillshare. Um, this was testing out my G pens, which is my Tachikawa inking pens. As you can see, this one is the G pen. So if I match back up here, it's for this one. Um, more children's book sketches. I was actually really happy with this little girl. I thought she came out so cute. Um, in the story, she was really happy that she had a little dress that matched the bride. So, she just so cute and happy. More Inktober sketches. And then this is where I got my Mission Gold palette. My fancy schmancy watercolors that I'm really happy I got and I saved up to get. So I was really... Um, I was really really into trying out all the different colors so I have mixed out swatched a bunch of colors together to see how they would mix and I was really happy with it this is another inktober sketch um, more swatching 
some more mixes I was trying to do. And this is probably my favorite page out of my whole sketchbook because opening it and seeing all these bright colors just really makes me happy. I don't know why, um, it just does. Just opening it and seeing this breath of color. This is a planned sketch for this piece here. Um, some more commission work for an event flyer. Uh, more swatches, more swatches, and this is a piece I did for someone, a lovely friend of mine from work. He gifted me my first ever Fabriano paper, watercolor paper pad, so I dedicated the first painting out of it to him. He loves games and stuff, so I decided to draw him this monster piece. I had changed up what the monster was going to look like from this to this. And here I just fit in this little sketch that came to mind. Um, this was for a tattoo for a friend as well. Um, he ended up choosing this one. Um, this was more planning for that picture here. I used this pose instead of having him just standing there. Um, more children's book sketches. And this one here. And then these three are little... Um, meet the artist's avatar designs they are more accurately mirroring me now with the, my curly hair and just cute little chubby legs. I'm testing out some acrylics that I bought. This is the planning page for the manga pages. These should actually be here. This was another draw this in your style. I don't remember the name of the artist. Um, these were some little poster color fruit designs that act a lot like gouache. They're really thick and opaque. And I wanted to do a whole series of those. I think that it come, came out so cute. Um, this piece was just a cute little doodle I did using cobalt teal. Um, just a sketch, some random swatches, um, more sketches for clients, cute little chibis here. This was inspired by a picture I came across on IG. This is another Skillshare class dealing with um, composition and illustration and pictures and stuff. It was really helpful. Doodling for the sake of doodling. This was another commission, another client sketch, sorry. This here's another client sketch. This is a personal piece, just a random doodle, and random house plan that I dreamed about. Um, mermaid for this year that I also didn't finish. And then uh, another client work. And then finally, completed my sketchbook on May 30th of this year. Yeah, so that's it guys. My entire sketchbook that I've had for the last almost three years. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this little flip through. Some of you asked, so I decided I'd put it up. So yeah, bye bye.